right, everybody, welcome back. I'm your host of the most KRR podcast. I want you to like, subscribe, turn notifications. Don't forget to hit that bell so the next time we have a video, we're going to slide directly into it. Grand Theft Auto 6. Everybody talking about it right now. Currently, everybody's saying Grand Theft Auto is woke now because you can play, well, supposedly through the grapevine as a female. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we've played as a female before. So I had to do a little research just to make sure I wasn't wrong because I could have swore we could on a part one, but it was so long ago, I had to look it up. So let's see. Across the screen now, I'll show you that there are some ladies that you could play before as part one for people who didn't believe that I was telling the truth. And back in 1997, Grand Theft Auto released on PC and PlayStation. They gave you a list of characters to play from. Was that was seemed like Divine, Makiki, Katie, and Eureka. So they did have four females. And again, I showed you the picture, so you'll be able to see. Now, again, you can kind of say it was kind of the graphics weren't the greatest back in the day, but you can at least see there was four females. Now, can you tell when you was playing? Is there a female or male? Probably not, but again, there were female choices. Also, on GTA Part 2, you could play as Candy or Gretchen. So again, you could play as a female for those of you guys that forgot. And then, of course, on GTA Online, you could have played as a female. But I understand that some people may have an issue with it due to the fact that you probably couldn't tell that you really was playing as a female but you were. But also, let's let's take a moment to say this, and I don't mean this disrespectfully at all. There are some grimy females out in the world. There are some females that go to prison. There are some females that commit crimes that, you know, that do things that could deem non-great. Now, women do obviously great things in life, but somebody's mom is in jail or prison right now for some, some foolishness. So let's not just get too far ahead of ourselves and say that, you know, certain people don't do things wrong. It's not true. But in the same token, y'all just be happy with the character that you can play as. So if you want to play as a female, I hope they bring it out so you can play as a female. But this is not the first time. So let's not act like all of a sudden Grand Theft Auto done went woke and all of a sudden now they're trying to represent the females. But actually, this is not the first time. And then some people I've read have gotten upset because they're showing a the female in a negative way. You do realize there are federal female penitentiaries. You realize the females are in there for life. So, you know, let's, let's, let's pump our brakes for a minute and let's clap it up for the game, at least giving you the option of the choice again, because they've done it before, as we just talked about earlier. And it's okay. Play who you want to play. It's nothing wrong with that. It's your choice. If you don't like the game, don't buy it. If you like the game, you should buy it. But at the end of the day, Grand Theft Auto has always had an issue, a stigma when they came out. Also, always been controversial. But that's also what made Rockstar, you know, who they are. A controversial group. And quite frankly, I think it's great for gaming. Because, you know, it's just spread our wings. You know, put everybody out there. Now, the female is supposed to be a Latina female. Now, some people may be upset because of that. But the reality of the situation is, no matter what race you would have put on it, it would have been an issue. So to me, at the end of the day, man, if you like the game, play it. If you don't like the game, don't play it. Don't try to throw, sit up there and throw male or female into this. It's a video game, y'all. We're just trying to have fun. We're just trying to have some fun. Y'all like what y'all do. Like what y'all play and enjoy it, man. Don't make it out to be something else. You go to play the video games and get away from all the other foolishness in the world. We're just trying to have fun, man. Let's not really get too caught up whether it's a male or it's a female. Man, who cares, man? We out here to have fun. It's not real. Do people do real things like this in real life? Yes, they do. Let me not sit up there and make it seem like that is not true. But both sexes do these exact crimes. Let's also be clear about that. So at the end of the day, whether it's your mom, your auntie, your sister, or your cousin, it's okay. We all make mistakes. It's all good. Now, some of them are ruthless. Gotta, gotta try to deal with that. But the real situation is this is a video game. We're just here to have fun. Please, let's leave all that political stuff out of the video game. Let's just have some fun. But if that's what you want to do, you know, make it about politics, or to make it about, you know, the whole women movement, wake about being woke, it's all good, man. As far as if I'm Rockstar, I'm like, hey, bring it on. Make the video game even more. Make it more 
popular for people to come out and play it. Without further ado, do you believe that Grand Theft Auto just went woke? Or do you believe that it just being Grand Theft Auto? Without further ado, you can be anywhere else. I want to say I appreciate it and thank you. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Don't forget to come on Twitch and watch me play tonight. Don't forget to follow me right here on this channel. And no, we haven't got about the gaming PC working on that currently as we speak. So I'll catch y'all later. See y'all again tomorrow. Peace.